Right now, it's an empty park, but soon a new playground will be in place here at Hoberman Park in Lock Haven. Volunteers are helping unload pieces of the new equipment and putting them together. A new playground was needed here at the park since the previous equipment was old and unusable. That's where Kaboom came in. The national organization helps build playgrounds all over the United States. And we were looking forward to putting new equipment in and with this project the kids were actively involved in deciding what was going to what was necessary. So the the park has needed updated for a number of years and this just gave us a great opportunity to put all those things together. Design days were held in May inviting kids and the public to share what's important to them. The kids even drew some of what they wanted to see in the playground. The final design was picked based on budget, of course, and of what the kids wanted, what was a good design with Kaboom and with our city planner, Abby Roberts, putting all of the, all of the ideas together, kind of blending everything for the best possible outcome. And I think the kids are going to be surprised because I think a lot of what kids ask for is in this final design. The park project cost $1.9 million, with most of the funding coming from the Community Development Block Grant and the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. Other amenities at the park will include access ramps, an ADA accessible swing, slides, and more. We have a zip line, which the kids wanted a lot, so that we had to make sure that was in there. And then a couple swings as well. Um, that anyone could use. Officials plan to add a rubber protective surface and hope to have the playground area officially open for kids in about three weeks. Lock Haven Police Chief Matt Rickard says the park will be a safe place for children and their families to go to. This is going to be a beautiful new um, high tech, if you will, or, or uh, much more uh, enjoyable play area for the kids in the community. If you would like to volunteer, head to WNEP.com. Mackenzie Auker, Newswatch 16, Clinton County.